Welcome to Wisdom's Galley, and this is how to make peanut pasta. This is a recipe that's really easy on a boat, and I made it up myself, so you won't find it anywhere else. The ingredients include some type of noodles, some peanut butter, peanuts themselves, soy sauce, and this Thai peanut sauce that you can find in almost every supermarket in the U.S. Today I'm also going to be putting chicken in the recipe, though that is optional. The first thing I'm going to do is boil pot of water on the stove because that is actually what takes the longest. I'm using water out of our filtered faucet here. This one's non-filtered and this one's filtered. All right, while that is boiling, or coming to a boil, I'm going to take out our chicken here, and I've just got one large chicken breast, and that should be enough for two people for this dish. And what I'm gonna do here is just cut it into small bite-sized pieces. Still slightly frozen, but it'll thaw in smaller pieces more quickly. Okay, that's all cut up, and our next order of business is going to be preparing the peanuts. So I'm going to be finishing off this recipe with some crushed peanuts sprinkled on top of everything. And so I actually don't have crushed peanuts, I'm going to crush them myself. So I've got these peanuts in the shell, woo, that we use as really good snacks while sailing on long passages. So I'm going to break into that supply now in order to have peanuts for this dish. All right. You don't need that many peanuts because this is mostly just a garnish, but enough so that chopping it up and putting it on top is going to be significant. Okay. That looks good to me. Our water is boiling, so I'm going to add the noodles. For this, I like to use uh, Chinese or Japanese noodles, like ramen or egg noodles. Uh, the only things I could find here in Spain were egg noodles, so I'm going to be using that. But you can also make this with regular spaghetti or even a ramen packet. So the instructions for those noodles specifically were to actually put them in boiling water and then immediately turn off the heat and let it sit for four minutes. So that is what I've done, but I do suggest to follow the directions for whatever pasta you're using. But it also gave me a chance to get the chicken going. So I'm going to take my pan here and pour a little olive oil in it. I stick the chicken in the pan. I'm gonna put this on a bit of a lower heat and cover it with a lid. Wait for a bit there. Pretty soon our chicken will be ready. You can hear the chicken sizzling and cooking, so I'm just gonna flip it a little bit here. Now, I'm sure you know this, but it's really important that you cook chicken all the way through. The way I check to see if the chicken is ready is I take a thicker piece and I cut it in half and as long as that inside isn't pink and or orange 
it's good to go. So this chicken is cooked through and through. So now I'm gonna add that chicken directly into this pasta. And this is the fun part. This is what makes it peanut pasta. So I've got my Skippy here. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of it and I'm gonna stick it in. Now this is actually the hardest part of the whole preparation of this meal because peanut butter is annoying and sticky and goopy but you're gonna try to get it kind of thoroughly mixed in here and that's why I'm using forks instead of a spoon because you can kind of tear the pasta apart and really get it to mix in All right, it's not going to mix in all the way, but that is okay because we're going to add two more important ingredients. The first is the Thai peanut sauce I mentioned earlier. And this is going to really add a nice peanut taste throughout the pasta. And you'll notice I'm not measuring because we don't have measuring cups. So all I do is pour a fair amount in, mix it up and taste it. And if I think I need more, then I pour more in. But your pasta is gonna pretty much just turn darker. And as long as you get it to turn darker pretty evenly through, you're good. So make sure I'm getting the chicken up here. This is starting to look awesome. Okay, and the other ingredient is soy sauce. Again, just going to kind of trickle it over the pasta. Mix it in. Okay, now it's ready to serve. So, I'm going to swiftly and gracefully Put this in some bowls. <laughs> Do -do -do. This is Herbie's second in here. Stop. Door is closing. <laughs> and the garnish. And voila, we have our peanut pasta. If you're a little crazy like I am, you're gonna have one more ingredient on here. My crystal hot sauce. So I just put a couple little drops of this baby on here for some spice. Oh, you want some? Yes, please. Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> No, I just mixed it around and fluffed it. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, mm. oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. So I snitched some pieces before the hot sauce. Hot sauce is really good on this. Mm -hmm. I had good flavor before. The hot sauce. It's delicious. This is one of my favorite meals. If I don't say so myself. And it's really easy to make. Mm. So that's another delicious meal that Maddie makes and I get to enjoy. <laughs> Life is good. If you have a tasty noodle dish that you'd like to share with us, please do in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like and share this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.